What up, everybody? K Head here. Um, Vape Heads channel. Do Kratom reviews pretty much also. I never did the Novo review. I know it's Mark's a little bit older pod system, but I just came across it and I realized I didn't do a review on it. So pretty much right now, I dig, I, I dig the Novo. It, uh, it's just a straight MTL pod system. I believe it's between 11 and 13 watts or something. No push button. They have a light indicator that lets you know when you're hitting it, when your pod's connected, when it's charging, and if it's fully charged. Okay, it comes with, of course, your Novo device, one USB cable, two pods, that's cool, and the user manual. And then you got your certificate of authenticity and all that BS and whatnot that comes with it that no one needs, but we like to know our stuff is legit. So pretty much, um, I just wanted to say that it gives a good MTL hit. The pods, never really had a problem with any of the pods. Um, so if you're looking for a cheap $20 pod system, you know, $15, $20 pod system that's going to really do this job, Novo is a great, great pod system. It worked good for me. And then I just moved to the Nord just due to the different options. It just had a little more wattage, a little more power. Just uh, I like a little harder of a hit. So pretty much uh, that's the only reason I moved to that. but. Besides that, yeah, I just wanted to throw that at you guys real quick and just give you my opinion on the fucking Novo. So, right on, man. Um, beautiful day out here. Beautiful Virginia Beach. So, no waves. Sucks. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's just bunch of different random boxes from different mods and uh, pods, RDAs, RTAs, freaking sub-ohm tanks, all that BS. And uh, besides that, um, that's it for that review, man. And, uh, take it easy, everybody, and I'll be back soon with another one for you.